promise of the Father. You're the spirit of the church. Holy Ghost, the life that's always new. You're the fullness of the Godhead, now you're dwelling inside me. Holy Ghost, the well that never runs dry. You're the promise of the Father, you're the spirit of the church. Holy Ghost, the life that's always new. You're the fullness of the Godhead, now you're living inside me Holy Ghost the well that never runs dry He says oh church oh come come now oh church oh come Holy Ghost the well that never runs dry He says oh church oh come break out from denomination Holy Ghost is the spirit of the church. He says, Oh, church, come. Break out from denominations. It's the Holy Ghost, the spirit of the church. He's the promise of the Father. He's the spirit of the church. Holy Ghost. He's the life that's always new. He's the fullness of the Godhead now is dwelling inside me. Holy Ghost, the well that never runs dry. He calls your name, says come. He calls your name, says come. Holy Ghost, the well that never runs Give a on a seal in my heart. Ah, Africa rise in the name of the Lord. The church arise in the name of the Lord. He's a fullness of revival. He is saying, Rise in the name of the Lord. He's a quickening spirit. He is saying, Rise in the name of the Lord. Mina Iko Sevena, my only man.
a kingdom that cannot be moved. I live in my own God is doing something new and massive, spanning across the nations. The rise of prophets, apostles, the emphasis of God. It's evident God is doing something massive. I don't know if you share the same opinion. What do you think God is up to? What's God doing right now? I, I believe that God is Raising men who are genuinely after his heart. I agree. Men who, who will grow beyond the stage and the, and the crowd. Men yes. who, who, whose secret place is also the stage. Hmm. Men who, who understand that uh, they are one with the Spirit of God and will not trade that relationship for even great name men who who are not after being remembered in time men who understand that the only thing that matters is the heart of the one that they love yes and, and, and these men what will begin to happen to them is that they will first of all go into marriage with the Holy Spirit. Because it is until oneness is achieved that you can actually understand the beatings of God. Yes. And that that can only happen wow. in the place of God. Glory to God. In the place of God. And I, I, I believe that God is doing a quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. His quick walk has nothing to do with time. Huh. It, it has nothing to do with time. It can take 10 years, but in the timing of God, the work is quick. So I believe, I believe that heaven is doing a quick work first on the heart of men. On the heart of men. That even when we seek Him, it is not because we want to have a great name where we live at earth. Uh, it's, he's just raising men that we love Him. Wow. I will love it. Yes, you made a very profound uh, statement. Men seeking after the heart of God. And you spoke about oneness. Now, given the, the current move of God and the strategy of the devil, distractions, sin and everything happening side by side, what, what, what do you think? Do you think it's um, a divine strategy for men to be drawn into the, in the secret place and oneness be achieved before the bidding of God can be known, like you said, and then published to the nations. Do you think that's strategic, given the distraction that is side by side, every other operation in the kingdom? What I mean by that is, you could be a preacher, yet be involved, actively involved with what's going on in the world, right? But if you are married to Christ, in, it's, you, you've been severed from the world system. So you are coming with another civilization, so to say. I, I, I don't know. So do you think God is deliberate about what he's doing, not just for the purpose of love, but also to circumcise the church so that what's, what's coming to the world, it's pure and undiluted, okay, um, exact counsel of God? The, the season that we are in, um, I, I believe um, it's not it's not orchestrated by the devil. They were prophesied by Jesus yes. that a time such as this will come, where yes. men will become lovers of themselves. Mm. Now, um, um, I believe seasons like this come. Sometimes you may think that you are actually journeying with God, but it is until your love test comes that you will know. 
if you genuinely love him. And the true test of love comes to faithfulness. When heaven wants to test how much you love him, him he, will, he, will, he will test your faithfulness. Yes. And it, it is until faithfulness is tested that you can end the trust of heaven. And when you end the trust of heaven, he can commit, he can commit weighty matters unto us. So uh, I, I believe, just as, as, as you've said, that um, I, I, I think, no, I know yes. that the matters now, heaven also orchestrated, that those that genuinely love him will also be checked. Let's, you, 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 so that you, 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 you will know why, why you run. What do you seek? Now, it is obvious that men are hungry everywhere. It is obvious. But um, the food we want to eat is different. Yes. What, what we want to eat as a result of our hunger is different. Some of us, our, the meal we are asking for can take 10 years. Some of us, the meal we are asking for can take 3 years. Some of us, what, what you're asking for, can take forever. There are, there are things that you will ask God for. He doesn't have them as a gift to give you. Mm. Uh, he, will, he will tell you, come, and I will make you. He, he, he doesn't have it as a gift to say, uh, take, and you will go. No, he, 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 I, he, he will say, come. Those, those were the words he said to Peter. Yes, okay, talking about gifts now. Um, you would agree with me that the gifts of the Spirit have been largely misused in the body of Christ. And what God is trying to achieve now, the purity of what God is trying to achieve now, and like you said, um, God is doing what He's doing from an eternal perspective. Not just something that lasts the lifetime of a man, but something that has an impact on a generation and transcends that generation. Now, talking about the quality of the work God is doing, what's the place of the gift of the Spirit and then growth, or what you call stature in the spirit, which is born out of relationship with God. Because there is much that can be achieved with gifts, but you know, if we work with gifts, um, we could, we, it's possible not to be accurate with God like you're emphasizing, because from everything you're saying now, um, much of the work we'll be doing now, the quality of the work we'll be doing, is not necessarily dependent on the charisma, the gifts of the spirit, but on our standing with God, which has to do with intimacy and faithfulness, right? So how do you now balance the place of gifting and spiritual growth and stature? Because if you look at it carefully, some persons emphasize growth as if if you are growing, you don't grow in the gifts of the Spirit. And some people emphasize gifts of the Spirit as though it's more important than having a relationship with God. So, what is the role of having a balance between the two? And how do you think that can be achieved? Okay, um, I believe that um, uh, when, when a man is gifted by heaven, you know, the gift of healing and all of that, I believe uh, what can help us use that gift effectively is statue. Jesus had the capacity to heal every sick person that were in his generation, but he didn't heal all. Now there is a, there is there is a reason for that. Now I, by the help of the Spirit, I have come to understand that that you have the ability to do anything it does not mean you should do everything. So I am um, the, the the place of gift is so important that we cannot underlook and all of that. So we, we must learn to understand that. Uh, I think majorly that the gift of the Spirit, God actually gave us liberally to be able to, permit me to use this, I stand to correct, to be able to um, um, use it more like um, as a medium for signs and wonders to the unbelievers. Okay. okay. Yes, I, 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 I believe that somebody who, somebody who has a relationship with God would understand that there is something more than having a gift. A gift. You can, you can covet a gift. Yeah. But you, you don't, you don't, you don't covet fruit. Yeah. 
to grow. Yes, you, you, you it's cultivated. And, and the time it takes to bear fruit, you, you must be mature to bear fruit. Wow, glory yes, to God. Yes, fruit does not glory come out God. of a premature, glory to God. a premature tree. You must, you must be mature. So and gifts, gifts are enabling tools for advancing the kingdom. Yes. But God is more interested as a worker, the yes. one working, the one using the tools, not necessarily the tools. The tools are important, but God is more interested in the worker. Yes. yes. And you can have the tools yet not be approved of God. But if you are approved of God, necessarily the tools will be granted. Yes. Yes. Wow, glory to God. I think that's very powerful and it's also an eye-opener. So we know that our pursuit is God, not things, or not the things God can give. Yes. The things God can give are actually byproduct, but our pursuit is God. Wow, that's great. That's really wonderful. Now, looking at some of the things happening now in the body of Christ, you know, when you talk about gifts conventionally, you are looking at the nine gifts of the Spirit, but we are also seeing new dimensions come up. You know, like you are, you are a psalmist and there are strange operations of the Spirit around your life and there are, there are a few people like you as well, um, you know, who sing and chant. And most times, if you look at the results, that come from your ministrations. Um, in fact, the, the, the level of transformation, it's amazing. Um, what would take um, maybe months or years of discipleship to achieve, you realize that the intensity and the measure of God that is downloaded when you chant can produce results that would have taken months or years in just a meeting. We've seen cases of perfect salvation, we've seen cases of radical transformation, where a harlot becomes a prophetess and it's not just giftings but you see the life of God as though it's downloaded into the person because they come under the atmosphere of your ministration. Now, this obviously is not part, necessarily part of the gift of the Spirit. It looks like a strange oppression that God is bringing. Do you think all of these things are happening now because of the urgency of the now? Because I, I find it difficult to... Okay, uh, uh, I think I I would like to say something. I, I I I would say, you know, I've been under your ministration <laughs> before, right? Um, sometimes it takes two hours to three hours of the message to bring the soul to the that le that level of ascension, you know, so to say, where you the consciousness of God is real, where you know transformation takes place decisions are being made for god you know sometimes it takes a while revelation upon revelation sometimes you take prophetic giftings to bring you know the body to that level of assurance but what god is doing with you you see that you just minister for 10 minutes and everywhere is on fire people making confessions transformations taking place people rise up and they are different people entirely you know like someone will say the, the, the spirit of god will come upon you and in your heart will be changed, you become another man. People literally become another man in your meetings. And these things are, are they are amazing. Uh, and I, I, what, I'm meaning, what I mean is, they are not just like the gifts of the Spirit, so to say. Do you break into this realm on account of your intimacy with God and then the realm comes out with you or it's an operation that, you know, it's just like a gift? Okay, uh, let, let me say this quickly. Um, I am not aware. Obviously, you are not aware because you are lost when you do what you do. I am not, I'm not aware of these things. Maybe it's because what I seek is not... Permit me. Maybe, maybe what I seek is more than what is happening. Wow. Yes, so I, the truth is I am not aware of these things. Wow. I, 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 I don't... So I can't... I can't actually give an explanation for it. But I know that uh, there are dimensions that you don't get by laying on of hands. Dimensions. Yes. Dimension. I, I, I know there are, there are dimensions that no matter how they lay hands on you, you can't get it. Dimensions. Now I see you operating words, words of knowledge, I see you operating the gifts of healing and all of that. But now when you talk about what you seek, when you talk about dimensions, it means you are talking about operations of the spirit that are in certain levels or spheres in the in intimacy, right? Because we talk about what you seek. Now, for somebody who's out there who just comes, flows in word of knowledge, 
operate gifts of healing and he can manage it and operate in it, but yet doesn't necessarily seek after the heart of the Father. You know, is it possible to operate in gifts like that, yet, yet not be caught up in this dimension to speak of? Because a lot of people are healed, they are the way they are. A lot of people receive words of knowledge, they are the way they are. At best, they are wild, but the kinds of transformation that are produced from your meetings, are they related to what you seek and the dimension in God you are operating on account of what you seek? Okay. Because I've actually sung some of your songs and I, I don't see the results. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So how, how come on, talk to us. Okay. Uh... So the body can be helped. <laughs> Um, 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 uh, first of all, I, I think I am, I am, I am too small to help the body of Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. There is, there is some, something that I seek. I may not know the name for it, but when I see it, I know it. Wow. Yes. I, I, I may not know the actual name to give to it, but I know that when I see it. Okay, I've also noticed that um, you don't, you are not carried away by the fame, the stage. Even while you're on the stage, it's as though you are lost somewhere in God. I don't understand. How did, how did you come about it? I know a lot of people that pursue God for what He gives, pursue God for the benefits attached to it, but you seem not to be attached to any of these things. Were you like this or? You are becoming like this because you are seeking what you seek. Okay, uh, I think that is as a result of uh, what I seek. Oh. Okay, there are, there are some things that you will ask a man. He will tell you that uh, this thing you are asking for, uh, you must do this, you must do that before you can get this. He, he doesn't just give them to you. The reason is because what you seek, uh, they, they are not things that he will just give you anyhow. They are yes, they are. They are. Yeah, I think I understand. Yes. Uh, the Bible said Abraham gave gifts to the sons and of his mm -hmm. of his concubine. Okay. Yes. But for Isaac, for Isaac, he gave the inheritance. Yes. So, so gifts can easily be handed yes, out, but yes. inheritances. Inheritance. That, places in God. That one is is they is, are earned by trust. Yes, they, are, they are serious. They are wow. serious matters. So uh, okay. I really sorry, right. I, I, sorry. I really don't if I have my way, I would not be going for meetings. If if I have my I way. I know, I think uh, I know that. Uh, but um, one day I was asking Jesus and I said, uh, you, I am not too okay with going for meetings and then trying to carry the crowd along, you know. When you're worshipping, it is expected that you have to, yes. you know, let the crowd, you know, carry the crowd along and all of that. And then he told me something. He said, if there's any time you go for a meeting, do not go as a minister. He said, never, never go for any meeting as a guest minister. And I was like, okay. He said, when you go, Go ask somebody who is also going to be blessed. Who will be ministered to? Wow. And then he said, whether you are in the stage, whether you are on stage, or in your bedroom, or anywhere, know that you are in your sacred place. Wow. So the things you see me do on stage, it, for me, I am not seeing the crowd. It's just me and him. I understand what you mean. Elijah would say in the palace that before God, whom I stand, the man of the secret place. All right, um, two questions quickly. Maybe we'll just marry them together because of the time. Um, now, I, I hear you most times in your meetings, people are littered on the floor, crying, screaming, and yet you are still telling them about a deeper place in the heart of God, the heart of the Father, to come to the Lord, as though what's happening on ground, as beautiful as it is, because we know God is touching people, but you keep inviting them deeper. So now, a lot think revival is about the shouting, the screaming, and the running about. When the revival really, the intensity breaks upon us, what do you think will be the indicators that we should
should look out for that truly the revival is here. You know, beyond all the shouting, the screaming, the excitement, what do we look out for as the indicators for the revival? And secondly, how do we, what do we do? What's the lifestyle now, spiritual lifestyle that we must sustain in order to preserve this operation of God that is coming upon the younger people that God obviously is putting his hand on? Okay. Uh, the, the reason why I keep telling people about a deeper place in God is because um, as deep as God is, no matter the depth he reveals to you now, immediately you know it. He lives there. Wow. He, 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 he permit me to use, he steps up. So where you are is a shallow ground. Wow. As fast, as deep as it is, as 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 overwhelming as it were when you saw it, when he revealed it to you. But being the kind of being that he is, yes, he he does not dwell on past glory. So just when he revealed it to you, and you're like, oh God, you are this, and then you are calling him names because of what you saw, unknown to you that. That name is no longer befitting. Because once he revealed that part to you, he, he, he's more like he upgrades. Okay? So I, I, I believe that going deeper in him will help you to, yes, to be correct. That's, that's, I, I think that's the word I'm, I'm looking for. To be correct. So that the things that we echo out will not be what he showed us two minutes ago. That the, that, that the things that we echo out will be what he's saying that time. Yes, what, what he is revealing that time. So, I, and then I, I believe if revival comes, what we would see is that we'll see Jesus walk upon the earth again. Wow, 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 that's awesome. We'll see. Wow, glory to Jesus. Jesus as women, and Jesus as teachers. Wow. Jesus, they will walk upon the face of the earth again. They may be teachers, but they are, but the character, you will look at them and say, this one, the nature of God is Jesus. Wow, that's glorious. That's wonderful. Wow. wow. You know, it's, been, it's been a wonderful time in God's presence. And um, you've really struck a very good balance. And I think um, it's a disposition we must all sustain. Our pursuit is not for the things God gives. Our pursuit is for God for the heart of the Father, to know Him as He is. And the more of Him we know, the more of His dimensions break out of us. And when this is achieved, that which God wants to have, or what God wants to see, will become our reality. And you have made it, you've painted the picture well. You know, the eternal purpose of God is for Christ to become the center of our essence and our being. And if revival comes, Jesus will be manifested through men, his nature, his lifestyle, his power, and it will be a glorious time again. And the systems of the world, the laws of nature, will conform to the will of the Father. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you so much this morning. It's been great in God's presence. 